Welcome back to Unit 2 Hello World for part 2 of Hardware with me, Professor Neil, and my TA, Dong Hee. Hello! Welcome back to part 2 of Hello World Unit 2 Hardware. I hope you've enjoyed our musical, uh, trance, clubby introductions. We've tried to liven things up this week. Just to make it a bit more entertaining, because it's hardware, it's not the most entertaining subject in the world. However, we are going to recap that entertainment and just go back over some of the stuff we went over in Unit 1. Partly to give you the answers, and just partly to just help with your English practice. Let's take a look at uh, hardware. Vocabulary. Are you ready, Yonghi? Shung, shung, Let's go. Yes, I'm ready. Let's go into hardware. So we looked at reading. Last time, reading 2.1 uh, explained that a computer is a device. A computer is a collection of hardware devices. And hardware devices do four things. Input, output, process, and store data. An example of a hardware device is a keyboard. A keyboard is a hardware device. It is a device for inputting data and an example of a hardware component, a sound card. A sound card is a hardware component. It is an input and output component of audio data. It is also a component of your computer. It is not the whole thing, it is a part of the device that is a computer. That is why a sound card is a component. And that's something we further look into when talking about hardware. Shoo! Flying! <laughs> right. when, I, I love that. When looking at the vocabulary. So these are all forms of hardware. Some of them are devices. Some of them are components. Some of them are a mixture, depending upon if they're looked from the outside of something or the inside. Because you could say a printer is a device, but it is also a component in your office? Mm, microprocessor is a device while it can be a, a component if it is used for the uh, AI robot uh, vacuum cleaner. Yeah, so if it's inside something working with other parts it's a component. If it's the whole thing it's a device. And so on. So devices and components they're like they're the same thing, but they're also different things, depending upon their role and function. And uh, we mentioned that for hardware devices and components. So each device or component performs a function. The function is described through an action. An action is described in a sentence by using a verb. Can we say, Professor Neil, uh, instead of function, uh, role? Role, yes, role. So each device or component has uh, a role. That it plays within the device. Mm -hmm. Here are all our input, output, processing, storage devices. They are, can also be called components. Wow, there are lots of them. But these are the ones we gave in Unit 1, and here you can see all their uh, names wow. written below them. So we're going to show you some of uh, complete the uh, vocabulary t uh, that we introduced in Unit 1. So we're going to introduce, put in all of our vocabulary, you can see, but with the pictures. We're not putting the text in, we're putting the tick pictures in for you. And hopefully you can understand which picture refers to which part of the vocabulary. There you go. Okay, so once you've got that, you've seen, for example, a microprocessor or the CPU is a component for processing data. And as we mentioned before, you've got the part of the sentence marked in, in a sort of purple-red lipstick colour. So like process, read, change, connect, connect, storage, store, input, hold, and so on. 
and these can be used to write descriptive sentences to describe the function or role played by that device or component in the computer. Wow, that was very useful, Professor Neil, with all the images. So now we go for the hardware descriptions. Ah,、oh, difficult part. And once again, you see, so this time they out come our images, but this time we're going to give you some example sentences. But ten of them we are not going to do because, well, homework. Ah,、uh, homework time.、Hmm. Hardware homework time. Yes. So here you go. You should do the ones that you I don't do for homework. So our examples here: a motherboard connects different parts of a computer. A network card connects a computer to a network. Oh, do we have any more? We should have more. Oh, there we go. A GPS device connects to a global positioning satellite. I mean these. Devices and components do do more than this. These are just one sentence to describe one of their functions. Yes, one of their functions, one of their applications, one of their roles, or their major role. Yes. A floppy disk stores data. A hard drive stores data on a PC. A keyboard inputs symbols into a computer, such as alphabet or Korean alphabet, and a CD stores data. And a sound card card inputs and outputs audio signals. Professor, there are two card card on ten sound card card. Oh, are there? Good point, Yonghee. I've corrected it now. So yes, a sound card inputs and outputs audio signals. Only one card. And the last one that we're going to give you: a monitor displays images. Twelve to twenty-one. I will leave those for you to do at home in your own time. Okay. So that's the end of our description and practice. Let's flick on. Our final discussion. So hardware. That's the introduction. That's our recap from Unit One. That's the vocabulary. For now, we're going to be moving to Dialogue Two Point Two of Hardware. So we're going back to John and Hedy. Now, as we usually do with、uh, Dialogue Two Point Two, we start with a warm-up. So some warm-up questions for Yonghee, and maybe she wants to ask me in return. Can I ask? Yeah, you can, you, ask, you, you can ask you. You can ask me the questions, Yonghee. Oh, much better.、Mm. Uh, Professor Neil, I'm ready. What make is your computer? Uh, the make of my computer is Apple.、Mm. What do you do most often on your computer? Uh, the what I do most often on my computer, I surf the internet. Or I create powerpoints, or I create videos for students to watch these days. Wow!、Uh, what do you do when your computer freezes? Get angry,、uh, <laughs> and re- then I just、uh, turn it off or reboot it.、Mm. Like that.、Mm-hmm. Okay. What do you do while it is rebooting? I go and make a cup of tea. Okay, interesting. Yes, well, that's very British of me. Thank you, Yonghee. I hope our students enjoyed the answers. I enjoyed asking questions rather than answering to the questions. Oh, that makes I can understand that appeal. Right, let's go off and take a look. In on John and Hedy in the office. Oh, we meet Tim, John, and Hedy again.、Mm-hmm. Curious. Let's go and join them in the office. Here we go. Hi, John. What do you do today?、Mm. I have to write a report. Hmm. Do you have a time for a coffee? Uh, sorry, 
I don't have time for coffee. I do have to finish this today. Mm, do you want some help? Mm, I do. Do you have a printer? Mine does not work. I do have one in my office. Why does it not print? Mm, I do not know. The screen has frozen. Did you try rebooting? I did not. Let me switch it off and reboot. Did it work? Yes, it's working now. So I do have time for coffee. Good. Let's go. Wow! I hope you enjoyed our little time with John and Hedy. Ah,、uh, Yonghee, should we go over the dialogue one more time? Of course, Professor Neil, because I'm expecting you're gonna ask question two. Questions are coming up. Me and us. Okay, so if you read Hedy, I'll read John. Ah,、uh, can I mimic Hedy voice? No, just your voice is fine. Hi, John. What do you do today? I have to write a report. Hmm. Do you have time for coffee? Sorry, I don't have time for coffee. I do have to finish this today. Hmm. Do you want some help? I do. Do you have a printer? Mine does not work. I do have one in my office. Why does it not print? I do not know. The screen has frozen. Did you try rebooting? No, I did not. Let me switch it off and reboot. Did it work? Yes, it's working now. So I have time for coffee. Good. Let's go. Let's go.、Oh, I don't like coffee. Hedy loves coffee. Wait, wait, wait. Pausing. Yes, Hedy does love coffee. Professor Neil, do you like coffee too? I do enjoy coffee. I do enjoy coffee. So notice the use of "do" here by John and Hedy to emphasise things. So, like John says, "I have to write a report," and then he's like, "Sorry, I don't have time for coffee. I do have to finish this today." And Hedy talking about her princess, "I do have one in my office." So do is used here to emphasize, emphasize the, the meaning of what you are trying to say. So I do have to go to the next slide. Professor Neil, I do love fish. <laughs> yes, Yonghee, as a cat, loves fish. But to get that fish, Yonghee will have to answer some questions. Oh, okay. Promises, promises. Oh. So、get, get the question right. I get more fish than I want. Okay, Yonghee. Questions. Dialogue two point two. Yes, I'm ready. Ready. What does John have to do today? He has to write a report. Very good. What does John need from Hedy? He needs Hedy's printer.、Mm -hmm. Why doesn't John's printer work? Uh. His printer doesn't work because his computer、uh, is frozen. What does John need to do to fix his printer? Ah,、uh, he needs to reboot his computer to fix his printer. Oh wow! Wonderful answers, Yonghee. Wonderful.、Ooh! More, fi more fish coming. How many?、Way. How many fish?、Oh, five. Can I have six? Okay, six. Okay, good, good. I love Jordan Hedy. Gonna need some cartoon fish for next week. Well done to everyone, to John Hedy and Yonghee and me, for Dialogue Two Point Two. That's the end of Dialogue Two Point Two. Fill in the gaps, answer the questions, and come with us to. IT support. Ooh, IT support. Ah,、oh, that strange Sam guy. Yes, Sam, <laughs> who lives in the pink basement, is IT support. Today he's going to have to help John with some with a hardware issue. Yeah, you can guess it. More printer problems for John. So let's go down to IT and listen to John and Sam have their dialogue. 
Here we go. Hello, IT Sam speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Sam. John from the Media Lab. Oh, hi, John. What do you need? Well, I was printing a report. Okay. But the printer is jammed. No problem. First, you do need to unplug the printer. Okay, I did that. Now, what do I do? Now, you need to check the loading tray for any loose paper. There does appear to be some paper jammed at the back. Good. Slowly remove it. I did it. Good. Plug it in and click on the resume button. Oh, wonderful! It does print now. Thank you, Sam. You're welcome. It is 11:45 a.m. on October 12th. Thanks, Sam. Bye. I will fix you. Sam. Bye, Sam. Well, that was a good little conversation between John and Sam. I hope you were paying attention. I hope, uh, Yonghee, you could just answer some tech support details for us. So, Yonghee, who uh, phoned Sam? John from uh, Media Lab. And what was the date? Uh, was it October twelfth? Very good. And the time? Eleven forty-five. And location? Location was、uh, John's office. Very good. And the problem? Problem was, uh, he ah. His printer was jammed.、Mm-hmm. And what was the solution? Solution was he had to slowly pull it out of those、uh, jammed paper. Out of the tray, yes. Out of the tray, out of the tray. Well done, Yonghe. You could work、Ooh. in IT. You could, you could replace Sam. Uh、That's... no, I think、uh, I need to listen to what Sam. Talking about yeah, and Sam's never going to give up his job. He loves it too much. Yes. Okay, now I just finished in typing in the, all the、uh, <gasps> questions. Yes. So we're going to reading two point two hardware. Ah, we hope this one is quite an informative and interesting piece for you. Ooh, so first, a bit lengthy, long article again. Yeah. So some warm-up questions, Yonghe. If you just ask me again. Ah. I ask questions. Yes, yes. Oh, wonderful, <laughs> Professor Neil. What was in your first computer? Oh. oh, that was strange question. Can I ask question again?、Mm-hmm. Okay. What was your first computer? Thank you for asking, Yonghee, because I've prepared a little image. If it comes up, let's see. Oh, there we go. This was my first computer. My first computer was an Amstrad. Four six four, four hundred sixty four. What is that? That was my first computer in about nineteen eighty four. That's not computer. That is arcade or <sighs> game. Well, yes. What did, what did,、uh, hang on. Well, yeah. What did I use it for, or what did you use it for? I I used it to play games. Uh, yeah, that's because I was very young in those days. But yes, interesting fact: the Amstrad Computer Company was created by Sir Alan Sugar. He would use the money he made from the sale of his computers to buy Tottenham Hotspur Soccer Club. Ooh! So he made, created the computer machine, and made lots of money, and he spent all his money to purchase football club. Tottenham Hotspur. Tottenham Hotspur. Oh, a Sony. Yes. Sony Mini's plane. Yes. Now, but Sir Alan Sugar sold the club ooh, a long time ago. Ah,、oh, so big... he was the first man who purchased the Tottenham Hotspur. You all know something. People who set up computer companies make lots of money and then use it in very strange ways. They can purchase what they like to yes, do. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so this is reading two. All right, so that was the first. So this one is the first computers 
So you will see in the handout, the reading, and I've marked all the main verbs in every sentence in red. So listen up, I'll read through, and then we'll answer the questions. Do you know what was the first computer? The first computers were very different from today's hardware. These are two of the first types of computer. The computer is the IBM 5100 portable computer. It was the first movable computer. It was introduced in 1975. It weighed 25 kilograms and it needed external power to operate. Its components included a built-in CRT display, keyboard, basic interpreter and mass storage, tape drive. The 5100 ran on basic programming languages and had 16K, 32K, 48K or 65K RAM. The second computer was the Grid Compass 1100. It was designed in 1979 by a British industrial designer, Bill Mogridge. It was the first notebook computer. The notebook specifics were a 3... 120 by 200 screen, an Intel 8086 processor, 340 kilobytes of magnetic bubble memory, a now obsolete non-volatile memory type, and a 1200 BPS modem. Wow. It weighed 5 kilograms and cost $8,000. Do you have a computer? What are your specifics? So this paragraph deals with two computers, the IBM 5100 portable computer and the Grid Compass 1100. Oh, there you go. Look at those computers. Awesome, aren't they, Yongi? Wow, that one looked very heavy. Imagine having to carry that to every class. <laughs> but what's interesting is if you make money from computers, you know how you spend them in strange ways? Well, the Grid Compass 1100 was taken into space. Wow. So before these two computers, in 1975, 1979, mm. Professor Neil, uh, computer were, computers were not portable. Not portable, not movable. So they are heavier than these two. Mm -hmm. Times change fast. Questions. Reading 2.2 questions. More fish time. So these questions are in the homework. Ah, homework. So we're not going to answer them for you this time. Mm. Or should we, Yongi? No. I'm going to leave them for you guys to answer mm. them because they no are... No fish. No fish. They are in the homework. So we're going to leave them for you to answer the question. So these questions are for the students. Are for this Only for the students at home. They're probably not too happy about that. We are going to finish with the portfolio. Ooh, which portfolio two. Which is in the homework this time. Is it in the homework as well? Yes. Wow. Lots of homework this time. Lots of homework this time. Mm -hmm. I agree. Professor Neil, why did you keep a lot of homework? Ah, uh, because that is the course from now on. So here's portfolio two. So once again, Fill in first for yourself. All right, what is your name? What do you do? What do you like to do? What computer do you own? What do you do on your computer? What do you do on the weekend? And where do you go now? Uh, can I ask a question for you, Neil? No, because I'm going to ask you, Yonghee. Okay. <laughs> Yonghee, what is your name? My name is Yonghee. Yonghee. What, Yonghee. what do you do? Uh, I study and work. And what do you like to do? I like to play the piano and dance. And what computer do you own? I have HP computer, all-in-one. And what do you do on your computer? I normally make documents and writing. Okay, and what do you do on the weekend? On the weekends, I travel around performance <laughs> that's very true and where do you go now i'm going home good good 
with the uh, six fish. Yes. <laughs> what a prize! What a prize! <laughs> Well, there you go, guys. You will notice that in homework two, you should uh, include your answers to these questions this week. In sentence, try and write it in a paragraph form. For like, example, my name is Neil. I teach English. I like to play chess. I own a Mac computer. Uh, I work on my computer. On the weekend, I like to hike. And now I am going to a restaurant. To eat lots of food. To eat lots of food. Thank you, Yonghee. Thank you to our students. This was Unit 2, Hello World. Hardware. It was hard. Yes. It's quite uh, weary. Until now. So have a good week. Have a good weekend. And all the best. And bye. Bye for now. See you next time with Unit 3. Bye. Bye.